Hi, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Krigo. Today I will be making baked ziti. Here are the ingredients for the baked ziti. I will put the exact measurements in the description below, but we will be using ziti noodles, mozzarella, tomato paste, pesto sauce, crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce, ground hamburger, onion powder, garlic powder, minced garlic cloves, salt, pepper, an onion, two green bell peppers, and parsley flakes for a garnish. Okay, while I'm waiting for my water to boil, I'm going to prepare the peppers. I'm gonna cut it about down like this. And I'm going to cut all this out. Cut my pepper down the middle. And then into a few slices, I'm just going to dice up the green peppers. About that size or so. My, okay, my water started boiling, so I want to put the ziti noodles in. I put the whole pound in there. I'm going to set my timer for about eight minutes. Normally, you would cook pasta nine to ten minutes, but a bit al dente because it's going to cook more when it as it bakes in the oven. And you're gonna stir your noodles occasionally. And we're gonna turn the heat down just to about, instead of high being at, have, instead of having it be on high, we're going to have it at about medium high. And here's a little trick. If you keep, if you have a wooden spoon and place it over the pot, the water will never boil over. Also, I never put oil in my water when I'm cooking pasta, because if you put oil in the pasta, the sauce doesn't stick to the pasta as well. Okay, if you've seen my other videos, you know that when I'm cutting the onion, I like to put the onion in the freezer for about 10 minutes first, because that cuts down on the crying. When I'm dicing an onion, I like to keep the root on because it makes it easier to dice the onion. So I start with, I cut off the top and I'm just gonna peel the skin. Okay, to dice the onion, I'm going to put it, so root side up, and I'm going to slice it careful that you don't cut your fingers and just keep turning and cut about maybe an inch and just keep turning and keep slicing down about an inch or so by leaving the root on it keeps the onion together and it makes it a lot easier to cut Okay, so then I'm going to turn the onion on the side and then you're just going to cut and then it's diced already. I put a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan and I put my heat on about medium high heat and I'm going to add the peppers and onions and I'm going to cook them until they're soft. And I'm gonna be stirring them occasionally. Okay, my onions and peppers are almost soft, so I'm gonna add the ground beef. And I'm going to chop up the ground beef and I'm going to keep stirring. I'm just going to cook this until the beef is brown all the way through. 
Okay, my hamburger is brown now. I'm going to remove it from the heat and drain it. Okay, I have a bowl underneath the strainer to catch the grease. Okay, I'm gonna transfer everything into this bigger pot. I'm putting my hamburger and onions and peppers in this pot. I'm, I'm going to add my ziti noodles. So I added the ziti noodles. I'm going to give it a little stir here. And now I'm going to add my tomato paste. I'm going to put the whole can in there. I have a six ounce can of tomato paste. Give it a stir. And now my tomato paste is mixed all in there. I'm going to add the entire can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to add my tomato sauce. You give it a stir. Now I don't have this on any heat because I'm just going to mix all of the ingredients together. Everything but the mozzarella cheese. I'm going to add a jar of pesto sauce. I'm going to give it a little stir because the oil likes to settle at the top. Test pesto sauce makes everything taste so much better in my opinion. And we're going to give it a stir. I'm going to add my seasoning. I have some salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Ground black pepper, some minced garlic, give it a stir. And something that I forgot to put out with the beginning of the video with the ingredients was a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Give that a stir.
Now I've preheated my oven for 350 degrees. I'm going to take my ZD mixture and pour it into a baking pan. I'm, use, I'm using an aluminum pan, but you can use a regular ba baking pan. And if, you're, you, if you are going to use an aluminum pan, I would suggest that you put it under a cookie sheet so the pan doesn't buckle. I'm going to sp sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top so that the whole entire thing is covered with cheese. Okay, I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven and I'm going to bake this for a half hour. I will bake this for a half hour, but I will check on it after 20 minutes. What you want to do is make sure the mozzarella cheese is melted and just slightly brown on top. Okay, I checked on the ziti at the 20 minute mark and it still wasn't um, melted quite yet. So I checked on it again at the half hour mark and it, and it was melted but not brown. So I put it in for another 10 minutes. So about 40 minutes total. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna take it out. And that's how I want it. The cheese is melted and it's the cheese is slightly brown. I'm just going to sprinkle some dry parsley flakes for garnish. And I'm just going to let that cool for a little bit and we're going to see how it tastes. Let's see how it tastes, shall we? Mmm, it's so good. Okay, this concludes this episode of Cooking with Krigo. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification button so you can be notified when the next video comes up. Thank you for watching.